Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can set the number of decimal places displayed on the Sharp EL531 XT calculator. To do that we'll use the setup key that looks like this located here. Now normally this calculator is in a mode called float mode where it displays however many decimals we need to give us the correct answer. So if we do 1 divided by 8, for example, press equals, we see we get a result of 0 0.125, which is the correct answer. But what if we wanted to get this rounded to two decimal places? Well, to do that, we can turn our calculator to fix mode and set the number of decimals displayed. To do that, we press the setup key, and we get this menu here, FSC, and tab. Now, the first step is press 0 to select FSE because you can see we can't select tab right now. So we press 0 and come to this menu here and now we want to turn it to fix mode so we press 0 again and this will spit us back out to our main screen and we'll see a certain number of decimals displayed. You might see a different number on your calculator at this stage. Now we go back into setup and you can see we can now select tab and there'll be a 1 there. So we press 1 and it'll ask us 0 to 9. This is asking us how many decimal places we want to display. Well for this example we want two decimal places so we'll press 2 and you can see now our calculator has changed to display two decimal places and our 0 0.125 has rounded to 0 0.13 because that's the uh, rounded two decimal places there. You'll also see the word fix appear at the top of the screen. This is telling us our calculator is in fix mode. So if you do see that, be careful with any answers you get because they may be rounded. Another example, if we do 1 divided by 3 and press equals, you see again we get only two decimal places there even though we know that 1 divided by 3 should be 1 third and go on infinitely. Another example, if we hit setup and then tab again, and let's say zero decimal places, you can see we're getting zero now. That's because this 0.3 isn't enough to round up to 1. But if we do, say, 1 divided by 2, which we know should be 0 0.5, we get 1 because 0.5 would round up. Now if we're done with this and want to go back to our normal mode, we press setup again and then 0 for the FSE and we're at this menu. Now we want to scroll down 1 so that we see normal 1 and normal 2 on our screen. We want to select normal 1 so we press 3. You can see now we're back to our normal display screen we see an answer of 0 0.5, which is correct, and the word fix has disappeared from the top of our screen. We like to use normal 1 mode here because it displays our answer in all decimals, even for very small results. An example would be if we go 1 divided by 100,000, you see we get 0 0.00001, but if we're in normal 2 mode, we get that as a scientific notation result. That displays very small answers in this mode. So, like I said, I prefer normal mode 1, which we get to again by hitting number 3. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody!